What's up guys, my name is Courtney Budson and this is What's For Din. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a delicious vegetable minestrone in a slow cooker. I love slow cooker recipes because you can just toss it all in and leave it. And if you're feeling under the weather, it's perfect because it's just loaded with vegetables. Or even if you're not sick, just having this on a cold, dreary, rainy day is so comforting and it makes your whole house smell amazing because it slow cooks all day long. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a beautiful wide array of vegetables here and basically all we're gonna do is throw it all in the crock pot. So I have some onion, some zucchini, some carrot, and I'm just using rainbow carrots. So if you're wondering why it's like purple and orange, you know why, some celery. And then I have some Swiss chard here, but this is just the stem portion. If you don't like Swiss chard or you can't find it, you don't have to use it. But all I do is I chop out the stem and I reserve the leafy parts until later. And then we're gonna add that later because I don't want them to become too broken down to the point where they're just sloppy, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and add all of this right into our slow cooker. The colors are just incredible. Then we're gonna also add some minced garlic. Then I have some drained, washed, and rinsed cannellini beans. I'm gonna put those in too. Just give that all a good stir. And now I'm gonna add some San Marzano tomatoes. All I did was get a giant can of these and then squash them up with my hands so they're nice and crushed. These are the fire roasted ones. That's gonna add a lot more flavor. If you can't find fire roasted, don't worry about it. It's not really that big of a deal. So go ahead and add those in. Now the seasonings that we're gonna use in here are very basic and simple. I'm just using a ton of Italian seasoning, some dried oregano, and a little bit of cayenne. I'm gonna season that all with a little salt and pepper as well. And now I'm gonna add some chicken stock. Now you can use vegetable stock if you would prefer. It's really up to you. Oh, it just looks amazing already. So this ingredient is going to add a ton of added flavor. I have here the leftover rind of my Parmesan cheese. That's gonna go right in and it's gonna add so much flavor, I'm telling you. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. You can just grate some Parmesan cheese at the end. But if you do have it, take advantage of that flavor because it adds so much good flavor. So now we're just gonna pop on the lid and cook this on low for eight hours. Now, the longer that you simmer this, the better it's going to taste. Now you're probably wondering, where's the pasta? But don't worry, we're gonna add them at the very last hour so that the pasta doesn't overcook and get like mushy and stuff. And we're also going to add some thawed out green beans, the leaves of the Swiss chard, and some fresh spinach. That way that the leaves don't wilt down and get all mushy too, because. As you can tell, I don't like mushy. <laughs> so we're just gonna cook it on low for seven hours, add all the goodies, cook it for another, then cook an additional hour, and then we're gonna eat it. <laughs> and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, so we can eat. <laughs> So here is the beautiful final product. I went a little bit crazy when mixing it, so my pasta kind of fell apart, but that's okay because it is still super delicious. If you guys don't like it as thick, you can definitely add a little bit more chicken stock as it goes along. Look at that, yum. Mm. The best thing about this is that the vegetables aren't like so soggy and so soft that they just fall apart. Like the carrots still have a little bit of crunch, the celery still has a little bit of crunch, the green beans have still a little bit of a crunch, and the best part is, is you can put this in the refrigerator. I just take out the entire insert from the crock pot and put it in the refrigerator after it's cooled just a little bit, and it makes an awesome lunch to reheat if you wanna take it to work and just reheat it while you're there. It tastes even better the next day. All those flavors kind of mingle together even longer, and although the vegetables do become more soft, it's still, it's still delicious. So if you guys wanna recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll have all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace. To be honest, this is good, but it's like 90 degrees outside and it's October. I'm sweating bullets. So we're just gonna pop a lid on this and we're gonna cook it for a... The longer you cook this, the better. <laughs> I'm gonna cook it on low for about eight hours. The longer you... So now we just pop on the lid and we cook it for eight hours on low. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I can't talk. The words aren't working today. And we're also going to add some fro... Fraud. Wow. wow. <laughs> Easy as that. I mean, could it get any easier? <laughs> I quit.